rebounds and they were there to finish them. So boys, just do your work off the ball. 10 minutes, we can put 10 hard minutes in, yeah? yeah. chasing and pressing for 10 minutes you can't do it um, and then obviously possession is at a premium okay so don't take a ton of risks with your possession lots of shots try and keep them defending as much as you can all right By Blake? No. Wow. Good? Boot, Nicholas Brodacki, four goals. All done, both of you. Championship to be determined. Okay, five shooters. We ready? Get the gear picked up and let's get you guys to bed. Okay, well done, boys. Wrap it up. One, three. One, two, three. Wait. Pressure is basically going to be when they're building out. Okay, so they're in an attacking shape. We're not, we're not close enough to apply direct pressure on the ball to get that ball right back within two or three seconds. So now we're starting to coordinate our pressure. That's the difference between pressure and counter pressure. You all with me so far? Good, good. Play on. Now we press. All done, yellow. Don't overcommit. Yes, Dylan. Good read. Yes, Harris. Well done. It's been a long time since we had the guys in training back in April, so it's a long four months to wait over the summer, so to finally get our returners back is, is always fun, and then obviously to see the new guys and what kind of impact they can make on the field when you mix them in with the returners. So uh, I'd say on both sides, returners and newcomers, uh, had some really bright spots last night and then uh, transitioned this morning into a full training, working on some defensive pressure and transition. And uh, yeah, the guys look sharp, they look fit, uh, touches are good, uh, injuries are very limited, which is nice uh, to start a season with. The midnight deal is fun just because it's something for the guys to look forward to. We try and 
make it more of a you know an enjoyable atmosphere rather than a training session or a fitness session or something like that so it's a way to kind of start the preseason off with some excitement uh, so the guys are looking forward to it rather than being nervous about fitness or wondering what we're going to be working on so they've been keyed on that for a while uh, we let them sleep in a little bit just because today is a big day for us so we wanted to be sharp uh, so really going into defensive pressure is, is a great way for us to start tactically because uh, we learn how to win the ball back uh, before we start talking about what we're going to do with it when we get it. So that's been the key. Uh, it will continue to be the key until we've got it right, but we certainly made some good progress this morning. Uh, getting some pool workout right now, getting the guys recovery and cooled down, and then some lunch and get them some afternoon time to put their feet up and get a nap in. Uh, the big difference this year is the returning group. They've, uh, they've made a big impact. So in the spring, we had a great spring. We've got 20 guys that have college soccer experience and played in a playoff game last year and you know they've made some big impacts on the program so to have those 20 guys coming back not only setting the standard of how we how we treat the facilities how we prepare for training how we interact with people in the athletic department and on campus but also on the field you know what are we going to do tactically it's so much easier to teach when you've got 20 guys that are role models uh, rather than starting from scratch so for the incoming players it's so much easier to have players to look up to rather than be counted on right from day one. It's a little different probably from your traditional preseason uh, in that we don't, you know, we're not doing a fitness test. We're not trying to crush the guys, you know, mentally. Uh, we feel like with the returning group uh, that they not only came in fit, which makes my job so much easier, uh, but they don't need to grow up in preseason. They're already experienced, they're already there. And so really the focus for us is the system, you know, getting the new guys up on board, understanding how we're going to defend, how we're going to attack, what we're doing on set pieces. Uh, so that's really the sole focus. So it's a lot more teaching, probably time in the, in the team room, uh, than it is you know, getting on the line and getting some fitness in. So not that we don't want to be fit, but uh, having a returning group like we do, we don't need it as much as we have in years past. Yeah, the new staff's been fantastic. They both came in in the spring, which was nice. You know, it's tough to start preseason brand new. So to have those guys in for our spring season and recruiting cycle and uh, over the summer through the camps was, was really big for us. So, uh, you know, Mitch has done a great job on the recruiting side. We've got a really good young group coming in and obviously working with the goalkeeping core uh, and helping with team tactics. And then just, you know, he's good in the, in the office. Uh, and then having Lee, you know, he leads every warm up. He gets things started really well for training, which makes my job a lot easier uh, when the standard is set early. And then, uh, you know, just being around the guys, the banter is, is great. So we've added two young coaches as well for the start of preseason. Matt Taphorn, who is a big time player for us uh, here at UCA, and then Nick Doyle, South African guy that uh, is local, played at CBC and has some good playing experience and really good mind for the game. So it's nice to have a full staff like that of guys that all have a different role and uh, can help us accomplish what we want to do this year, which is to win the conference. Saturday night we've got purple and gray game which is going to be fun. The purple team is made up entirely of returning players and the gray team depending on injuries and fatigue uh, should be all newcomers. We may have to plug in a couple returners to that group. Uh, so it basically is a chance for the returning players to, to show that they deserve to keep their positions and obviously for the new guys to show, show the coaching staff and their teammates that uh, they deserve a chance as well. And, so it's a fun way to compete. We're going to treat it like a real game. We've got referees. We're going to do announcements and uh, have music and pregame and all that stuff. So uh, it's kind of a dry run for, for a lot of reasons. But for us, the biggest thing we'll get out of it is competition and getting some questions answered in position. So.